Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the different types of computer networks. LAN, WAN, MAN, PAN, and VPN. We'll go over the advantages and disadvantages of each type, so you can decide which one is the best fit for your needs. Let's get started. LAN, Local Area Network. Let's begin with LAN, which stands for Local Area Network. A LAN network is used within a small geographic area, such as an office building, home, or school. The advantages of a LAN network include high data transfer speeds, low cost of implementation, and easy management. Additionally, since LANs are typically used for small networks, they are generally more secure than larger networks. The main disadvantage of a LAN network is its limited coverage area, which can make it difficult to expand or connect to other networks. WAN Wide Area Network Next up is WAN, which stands for Wide Area Network. A WAN network covers a larger geographic area than a LAN, such as a city, country, or even worldwide. The advantages of a WAN network include its ability to connect devices over long distances, its large coverage area, and its ability to connect LANs together. WAN networks are commonly used for internet connections and cloud computing services. However, the main disadvantage of a WAN network is its high cost of implementation, as it requires expensive equipment and maintenance. MAN, Metropolitan Area Network. Moving on to MAN, which stands for Metropolitan Area Network. A MAN network is used to connect LANs and other networks over a larger geographic area than a LAN, but not as large as a WAN. One of the main advantages of a MAN network is its ability to connect LANs and other networks over a larger geographic area than a LAN. Additionally, MAN networks are often used for cable TV networks and phone companies. The main disadvantage of a MAN network is its limited availability, as it is generally only available in large cities. PAN, Personal Area Network. Now let's talk about PAN, which stands for Personal Area Network. A PAN network connects personal devices, such as smartphones and laptops, wirelessly. One of the main advantages of a PAN network is its ability to connect personal devices wirelessly and its ease of setup and management. Additionally, PAN networks are typically very secure since they are not connected to any larger networks. However, the main disadvantage of a PAN network is its limited range, as it's typically only suitable for connecting devices within a room or small area. VPN, Virtual Private Network. Finally, we have VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. A VPN network provides a secure and encrypted connection over the internet, making it suitable for remote work and accessing resources on a remote network. One of the main advantages of a VPN network is its ability to provide a secure and encrypted connection, making it suitable for remote work and accessing resources on a remote network. Additionally, VPN networks are generally easy to set up and manage. However, the main disadvantage of a VPN network is its reduced speed due to the encryption process. Additionally, VPNs may require additional hardware or software to be set up. So, those are the different types of computer networks, and their advantages and disadvantages. Each type of network has its own unique characteristics and uses, but they all play an important role in connecting devices and enabling communication and resource sharing. By understanding the differences between each type of network, you can choose the one that best suits your needs. Thank you for watching.